Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about some special things to help really decrease stress, bust stress. This is a very stressful time of year for a lot of people and they're really trying to attain health and get towards their goals, but all the stress can be really distracting. So, uh, oh, I'm Dr. Beth Westy. A lot of this information is in my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, still yet to be released, but we're going to be really covering a ton of this information in detail in the six-week jumpstart group. So if you have not joined or you're interested, please comment below, or you can message me and I would love to get you more info on that. Um, the six-week group, just to let you know a few of the secrets about it, is that it takes you through nutrition for your hormones, helps you with nutrition for stress also helps you with fasting and takes you through carb cycling all in one shot. So it really is a very complete nutrition meal plan using a lot of food um, and everything else that attacks your metabolism from a ton of different directions. Very, very unique, one of a kind thing. There's nothing else out there like it because I created it and it's not like a copy and paste of other things. Um, it's Eastern medicine philosophy based because I'm trained in Chinese medicine. So that's where a lot of this stuff comes from, and it's really dedicated to focus on your hormones. So that's the exciting stuff about that. Now, when we talk about stress and ways to bust stress, one of the really um, important things is that there's little things you can be doing throughout, throughout your day or during the day that really help to target stress in different areas. Now, oftentimes, one of these stress responses um, is that your muscles will tighten um, and your breathing will get faster and everything else. And this is just a natural physiological response that your body has. Like you can't stop it. It just happens. So when you're under stress, everything is going to like tighten up and you're going to be like, oh my God, that's just how it goes. So there's a little herb um, or spice to use. And it is, this is probably backwards, but it's cayenne. Cayenne. Very, very important. If you do not own cayenne, go out and get some. If you have never cooked with it or used it in any beverages, teas, or anything, try it. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, the active ingredient in cayenne that makes it so special is called capsaicin. So you can Google capsaicin, learn more about it, but essentially, it is very, very important. This is also a big pain reliever. So for people with arthritis, a lot of times they'll have lotions or creams or something with capsaicin in it. And they'll put it directly on their joints because it blocks the pain receptors for your body. So on your cells, your, you know, your body has pain receptors. And this really helps decrease the pain because it just takes care of it naturally. So it's fantastic. This is also a very big anti-inflammatory agent. Um, and when you ingest this, when you eat it or drink it or whatever, it helps heal your stomach also. Amazing. Um, it can be, a, a, I want to say like a detox agent because it really helps move things through the body. It increases your blood flow so throughout the entire body. So it dilates your vessels, your blood vessels, which means that they get bigger. So blood flow increases, which means that you're going to be able to flush all that junk out of your body that much easier and faster. So imagine, you know, say there was a day coming up where people typically, you know, maybe have a few drinks or something, New Year's, whatnot, and you really want to make sure that the next morning your blood's moving and you're flushing all that toxic stuff out, and you want to help your liver out, help your liver out. Adding some cayenne in whatever you're eating or drinking can help do that because it's in, going to increase your blood flow. Amazing studies have been done on increasing blood flow and cayenne pepper. Cool, huh? I think it's cool. Cayenne pepper is cool. Okay. This also, um, because of the blood flow increase, will increase your metabolism naturally. So little things like this. Oftentimes, so I never grew up cooking with cayenne. I mean, I grew up in Minnesota, very Midwestern family. I grew up on a small goat farm. So, you know, not, not any fancy spicy cooking for me. So this was a new thing that I had to learn to add in to specific dishes and things like that. So I'm going to post and attach below this some recipes for using cayenne pepper because um, I didn't know any when I really started researching. And I started, so I'm, I'm like a nerd. I was like, I want to use things to get healthy. How do I do that? Boom. I'm going to figure out what this is, what the healthy things are, and then figure out how to cook with it. Not, oh, I really like this recipe. This is delicious. How do I make it? Oh, I'm just going to add this in because it's part of it. No, I do this for the health benefit. So, so there's that. Um, if you are finding this information to be helpful, I would love if you would click the share button on the bottom and share this with other people that you know, because this is such a simple, easy thing that you can get this anywhere at any grocery store, and it's going to help 
your health so much, help you get your goals, everything else. So if you guys could do that for me, I would appreciate it. Um, boosting your metabolism, helping with pain relief, helping with blood flow, everything else, picking this up. Now there's also a fantastic detox drink that a lot of people will do to help um, move things through their system pretty quickly. And it is simply this, water, like a glass of water, a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice, because lemon is also very detoxifying, and then like a pinch of cayenne pepper. So when I do this I, in, a, in a beverage, I actually put it in a water bottle and shake it up just to keep it more mobile. Um, and then you can kind of sip on that and drink that all day. It's going to help detox and move things through your body system very, very quickly. I don't do that every day, but if I'm feeling kind of sluggish or I want an extra detox boost, I will use this in that lemon water detox drink. You can also sweeten it a little bit too. Some people use maple sugar or maple syrup um, or a little bit of honey or something in with that beverage, the lemon water in this, just to make it taste a little bit better. And I, I do that too sometimes. Um, but a fantastic way to help boost your detoxification with cayenne pepper. So, see, I wish I wrote it backwards, but you know, it's just a nice little jar of this. Um, it's pr fairly inexpensive and a, a jar like this is going to last you a really, really, really long time. So little tips like this to really, really help you get back on track, decrease your stress, help you with blood flow, everything else. And great, great, great information like this is in our six week jumpstart group. So if you haven't joined and you aren't interested, please let me know. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to be chatting a little bit more about stress. I'm going to talk more about protein. Um, and especially with people who are looking at health programs to start for January, there's a lot of stuff that I've seen out there. I'm going to cover this really in depth tomorrow. So my video tomorrow is probably going to be pretty long. That's my advanced warning for you. Um, but I'm going to go into depth into some of the ingredients on the labels. I am a label nerd and most people don't know what they're looking at. I had a gal ask me the other day, oh, what do you think about this? And I just quickly Googled it and I was like, the second ingredient was something like cellulose powder. And I was like, oh, okay, so cellulose powder, do you know what that is? That's, that's wood pulp, so sawdust. That's what you're drinking. She's like, yeah, it makes my stomach hurt. Oh, yeah, because you're drinking sawdust. That, no one likes that. That is not good for your intestines. Your body was not made to eat sawdust. Just a little health tip right there. Yeah. So really be careful of what you're getting and what you're looking into because a lot of times, you know, these cheap fillers, it's, it's plant-based. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> sure. It sure is. It's plant-based. It's tree. It's a tree. Come on. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to be covering more about that tomorrow because I obviously am very passionate about it. Um, but in relation to protein and stress and getting more good proteins in your body that way. So health tip for the day, cayenne pepper. And I'm going to be posting more recipes below about this. Um, just a few little recipes that I really like. Other than that, everybody have a fantastic, fantastic day.